Hey you, this is Justin from CodeBand and in this video we are going to be talking about prefetch related in Django. So before we move into that, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video on select related which is much alike to the prefetch related. So um, we'll be actually comparing and contrasting both of them when to use what and so on. So the link will be in the description section. Go now and watch that and come back in here. And with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon here to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So as usual, we'll be actually um, doing a fresh new Django project in order to demonstrate the whole purpose. So for that, um, as you can see, a new project with a new application named Core. So in the Core dot models, you can see two models. So these are uh, the the kind of things that we uh, need to understand the prefetch related concept. So the first model is the book model, so which actually represents some books. Um, uh, for example, two scoops of Django is a book and um, something like that. So it has a name field representing the name of the book and the price field as well. So very basic thing as you can see. Now the next thing is actually a store which represents stores. So for example, store one, store two and so on. And again, the first field is name which indicates the name of the store. And the second field is the books field which is a many to many field to the book model. So which actually represents the available book books in that particular store so if we take a store then the available books um, will go to this books field which is a many to many relationship to uh, the book model so that's what is these uh, two models so now we'll be actually uh, starting to uh, write some uh, some of the logic so that we can understand the prefetch related so for that we have actually set uh, the um, URL so as you can see in the in the um, main uh, in the root URLs I have actually included the um, path to include core.urls now in the core.urls you can see a very basic home path which uh, which will go to views.home now the views.home I haven't written any logic yet but we'll start to implement and we'll, we'll uh, just quickly uh, show you what exactly it is the prefetch related thing so um, that's a basic project setup now um, before moving into the into writing the logic I have actually created uh, some some random books and some random stores so if we go to the admin panel in the books you can see we have uh, five um, different books here and we also have some stores as you can see two stores store one and store two now this is just for the demonstration purpose so we'll be actually starting to write the code now um, the first thing um, in the home function what I will do is I'll I'll just fetch all the books for example uh, books is equal to uh, we have the book model so book dot objects dot all so very simple and very straightforward and I'll just print the query set so I'll just say print books and if I come back to the application uh, if I run I, I have already run the server so I'll just refresh this page then you can see uh, in the in the SQL here um, you can see three queries now uh, the the additional two queries is because we we have logged into the admin panel so I'll just log out that and if we come back and refresh that then um, we can see the uh, one query here so select uh, all all things from from the book model as you can see now uh, if you're wondering about this side panel here it's Django debug toolbar so if you're not familiar with it I'll put a link in the description section I have done a video on that how to configure that and as well so in the meantime you can watch that and so back into here uh, we it, it's just selecting all all the fields from from the book so uh, if we select that you can see the the rows are returned here so just the list of books now uh, the next thing will be actually uh, looping through that book so I'll just say like for book in books so we'll be looping through that books um, query set there and what I'll do is I'll actually print um, 
uh, what I'll do is in the models.py I'll print the the store um, in which this particular books are available so what we'll do is we'll, we'll just say like book dot store set dot all so what this does is it will actually loop through that books uh, query set and it will it will take each book now uh, the individual book it will print all of the stores in which that book is available so that's what it is doing so um, uh, in order to understand this i'll actually log back into the admin panel so that you can see that uh, many to many relationship so back into the uh, books here so I'm, I'm sorry back into the stores here if i select store one you can see uh, in the store one we have three books in stock so the uh, automate and the python uh, cookbook and python for everybody similarly in the store two i have set uh, the uh, other three books here as you can see so these books are in uh, are in store two excluding the these two the automate and this python cookbook it is not present in store two and similarly in store one as well so what this uh, um, uh, this uh, query does here is it will take a, a, a book and it will print all of the available stores in which that book is in stock so very straightforward and we'll just actually go into the home page and if we refresh then uh, what you can see he, here is in the sql so uh, once again I'll, I'll just log out of my uh, admin panel here so that it doesn't blow up additional queries i'll refresh again uh, here and you can see that we have six queries as you can see uh, six queries in 0.77 ms so if we look into that six queries the first query is for selecting all of the books so much like we have seen earlier this one the selecting all all the books there available books so as you can see if we select that we get all the books now the second uh, not the second the uh, this one this query as you can see uh, it is actually selecting um, the the store uh, uh, where this uh, book is available where those books are available so if we go into the loop it will actually take the first book and uh, it executes this first query so what it does is book id is equal to one it will actually select all the available uh, stores in which this book has uh, or it is in stock so uh, if we just select this one you can see that this uh, book id is equal to one is in store two it is only available in store in store two so if we just log back into the uh, admin panel then you will be very uh, you can just understand that very easily so if we go to stores store one and um, i believe this is store two so if we go go back into uh, store two then you can see um, the the book id is equal to one which is the first one two scoops of django so it is only available in store two because we, we as you can see in store one you cannot see that in store one so it is very clear now um, again uh, if we go back into the other queries what it does is the same thing except uh, it'll uh, it, we are in the loop right so it'll take the second book and it'll print all those stores in which that book is available so again the kind of same result the second book is available in store one and similarly those other queries as well so since we have five books in total we'll have uh, five queries as you can see the five queries uh, five select queries here plus the additional query this one uh, to select all the all books available so um, this is uh, as you can see a, a performance caveat because um, if we, uh, we were having 100 books then this will actually trigger 101 queries so uh, one query for fetching all the books plus the 100 queries for selecting all the stores in which that particular book is in stock so as you can see one two three four five we have five books so five queries so this is a performance cavity as i as i have already told, told you so there comes into play the prefetch related so if i say like books dot objects sorry book dot objects dot all dot prefetch related now i have to pass in which uh, model or which related model i have to prefetch so in this case we are fetching the store right so what we are doing here is we are fetching all the stores so the same same thing will actually say store set so with this being said now if we go back into the application and refresh now you can see that um, we we only have uh, four queries uh, excuse me i'll just get it off this 
um, admin panel here I'll just log out so that the resultant queries are reduced so if I refresh then you can see there are only two queries as you can see so the first one is actually selecting all available books so it will actually select five books now the next thing the next query is actually just one query it is just only one query which selects all the stores in which these five books are available so you can see the query it is actually taking in one two three four five four so these are the ids of the books so if, if we select that you can see the um, uh, id and name of those stores and this is actually the prefetch related id so these are the ids of the books uh, the, the corresponding um, uh, I believe these are the IDs of the um, of the store not the book uh, no it is, they are the IDs of the book so the uh, fourth book is actually available in both stores so if we just inspect um, the back into the admin panel if we just inspect then if we go to the books then uh, you can see that uh, the I'm sorry if we go to in the stores in the store too you can see the fourth book python for everybody is there and similarly in the store one as well you can see that python for everybody so those fields those uh, uh, four uh, the fourth book is present in both store one and both in store two so uh, that is what is um, the second query so instead of uh, six queries this actually does two queries one for selecting all the book all the books and the second one for selecting all the available um, uh, you know the, the stores in which those books are available so instead of six queries it is uh, minimized into two queries and that's what is the prefetch related does for us now the thing you have to keep in mind is that this is different from the select related you know the select related actually do the trick in one uh, single query as you might have seen in the previous video uh, it only executes one single query to actually fetch the related model but in this case in prefetch related it actually does two two queries one for fetching the uh, main model the the books and second one for the related model so the difference is uh, that the as in the documentation the select related uh, cannot be uh, used in in many to many relationships so you can see it is limited to single valued relationships foreign key and one to one so you cannot say like uh, uh, instead of prefetch related you can actually say like select related and you cannot say like store set because this will cause an error if we look back into the application and refresh you can see invalid field name in select related choices are none because you cannot do that in in a many to many relationship there you can only use the uh, prefetch related stuff now this is one difference now the second difference is that the back into the documentation you can see the select related works by creating an sql join so therein we, we are using the sql join to fetch the the uh, main model plus the related model in a single query but in prefetch related on the other hand uh, it, it is actually uh, taking those uh, those values the the uh, the main model plus the related model in two separate uh, queries and that's the joining in python so it is actually doing the kind of um, you know uh, uh, relating the the corresponding book to the available stores in python not by executing a separate query so that's the difference the prefetch related once again the prefetch related does the joining in python so we are not executing additional query to to actually find the store in which that book is available instead it actually uh, what it does is it will sell it will uh, execute two queries one to select all the books and one to select all the stores and that relationship is doing in python but instead in select uh, select related what it does is it will execute an sql join and it will fetch all those um, uh, model plus the related model in just single query and those join things are done in the sql stuff not in this python uh, way so let's see uh, kind of main um, 
uh, difference between these two and the, the, the next thing you have to notice uh, the select related will not work in many to many relationship as you can see in the documentation it is limited to foreign can one to one and whereas the the other one the uh, prefetch related works in any of the case it also works in in this foreign key and one to one plus it also works in uh, the many to many field as well and that's that's about the queries that i hope you uh, understood the concept and it's very simple um, we are just minimizing the queries to two just two queries as well and i'll put the links uh, to this documentation and i also have uh, an additional um, medium article which i found useful so i'll put those links in the description section so that you can actually refer that it's more than this one this is just a basic thing you can do a lot of stuffs with prefetch related a lot of customizations and so on so that you can refer the documentation as well as this related article here so i'll put the links in the description section if you have any doubts or any sorts of um, um, errors or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon near to it and don't forget to like the video uh, if you find it useful if you found it useful and with that being said um, um, yeah that's it thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one